and this is the this probably as i said one of the most important concepts i studied and learned if you haven't heard this before this will be very beneficial if you have heard this you can help us as we go along okay this quadrant this is uh, also called as the eisenhauser um, matrix it's called as you can see this column is called urgent and the second on the right hand side is called the not urgent and this row is called important and this row is called not important now i would like all of you to shout out this is called the quadrant 1 quadrant 2 any of you remember mathematics still the graphs <laughs> quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 so we going to first start with quadrant 1 can you please shout out something that is urgent and important wow okay we'll take this time from adults okay i was saying like if something has urgency with health health crisis very nice we'll give work, work mm, specific uh, not all work is urgent and important yeah. school work school work homework yeah tomorrow it's due and you suppose it's urgent and important okay good job no anything that you can think of anything urgent and important in your life go ahead anyone smiling i okay spirituality stuff spirituality okay we will <laughs> we will see if that falls by the way i have the answers all pre prepared but we will see yes homework yes that's true coming to the gita class coming to the gita class urgent and important it is urgent also i am glad you feel that it is urgent and important very nice what else uh, did i see someone else raise a hand time management <laughs> Unfortunately many of us don't think it is urgent <laughs> nor do we think it is important <laughs> spending time with family okay certainly important whether urgent depends on the mood of the spouse <laughs> if they are in sulky mood <laughs> then it is urgent you can sit down i can see your hands yes <laughs> That is undeniably correct. <laughs> cooking. Keep on being urgent. Yeah, cooking. I mean, depending on again. Yeah, if you are already late. It's important, but not urgent. Ah, uh, again, depends on the mood of the kids and the spouse. But yeah, we, we can take that answer partially. Anything else you can think of? going to school it's not urgent it's important, i don't think at least uh, kids here feel that urgency <laughs> in india if you don't go i mean at least i would i would say uh, okay we'll take the last one and we will reveal the answer drinking water what's with raga and bathroom breaks and water <laughs> true actually if you are very thirsty it's urgent. urgent and important also okay here are some i think we covered many of them which we didn't touch upon is the work based deadline driven projects sometimes we have crisis in our life someone mentioned health emergencies if there is a problem in our in bathroom plumber plumbing help is needed urgent and important also <coughs> so breakdown maintenance something already broke so that <coughs> needs to be fixed same goes for relationship also wife or husband calls and says i want divorce <laughs> urgent and important i mean i hope we are not that stupid to wait that long but sometimes uh, relationships many relationships children also sometimes 
you don't spend enough time in the beginning and then slowly it comes to a point where uh, where what their behavior their speech <coughs> needs to be corrected very quickly it's very important to correct and very urgent to correct them also so many of them fall under that category now you tell me what is not urgent and important okay we will take from kids this time a project like a big project that's due in like a few weeks yeah that's a good one a big project that's due in few weeks it's important it's not urgent homework that's due in three days <laughs> good point i hope we will give her also a round of applause because she thought about it in parallel anything else not urgent but important okay restroom water all of that we will include it we have already included in the important and urgent but uh, okay sometime like like for have like homework but a break some interesting book that's beneficial yeah. it's not urgent no, but it's important oh school okay we like have math book homework project work but yeah all right we'll give him also a round of applause okay shreyan by the way we want to give opportunities to new people which is why i'm not selecting okay but i Okay. Any, anyone else? There are actually very, very important things that lie in this box. Pranil uh, Mataji. Physical exercise. Physical exercise. Please give a big round of applause. Planning. 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 planning falls under not urgent but important right nobody is behind us your spouse is not going to ask you did you plan this out <coughs> usually not only right before the <coughs> long weekend do they ask can you switch out that mic please what else anything else you can think of retirement plan retirement planning yeah that's also valid anything else college can you elaborate more college <laughs> yeah yeah for your parents you're saying college yeah important but not urgent <laughs> so i think she's communicating she's not telling me <laughs> she's telling her parents she has big plans for college so okay kobi sleeping important but not urgent <laughs> interesting <laughs> okay some of you mentioned these earlier can someone take the mic and read planning organizing things tasks people self development so we'll go slowly so planning organizing organizing things organizing tasks some of you said planning and people also organizing people also comes under this okay self development um, this is a very important part which I'm not sure if we touched on this anyone <coughs> mentioned this either before or now self development also comes under not urgent but important okay prevention like exercise relationship building so prevention before it breaks regular maintenance of plumbing electricity car everything the physical body the mind and everything related to that and then relationship building also again same before it breaks we do something about it regularly and then a uh, nourishing create a recreation nourishing recreation recreation that is actually nourishing not actually fulfilling spiritual meditation serving so whatever venu ji was mentioning it's not urgent actually whether you do chanting today or tomorrow i am happy some of you feel it is urgent but from a uh, 
from most people perfect perspective and then <coughs> even really also it's not urgent but it is important spiritual meditation and contribution to society contribution to others serving also okay now we will breeze through the rest what is urgent but not important can anyone think of some social media urgent urgent and not important okay okay we will we we'll take new only kids are participating come on let's go let's go i see some new faces please shout out anything that you see urgent but not important all right i have no choice but to go to the kids uh, <laughs> Please say something other than bathroom, water, and homework. Please. Playing board games, not important. Urgent also. Okay. That is also urgent. The urge to play video games and eat junk food. That is also urgent. Okay. This session will be very beneficial for all the kids. Yes. Very important. Can we give him a round of applause? He said, going on time. to someone else's house it is urgent it's technically not very important i mean whether you go or not uh, they probably will still eat prasadam and enjoy their life but there are actually many many things that fall under this bucket we'll give raghav a chance never mind okay <laughs> but it's actually urgent sometimes is it yeah, yeah. but it happens to me yeah, okay here is the list we will get arna will be in this shreen arna will be in this interruption so when you are doing your work you may be interrupted either by a phone call or a person coming to your cube or <laughs> external or internal <laughs> there that's what they say okay interruptions some phone calls some phone calls not all but actually many of them they are not <laughs> important uh, okay drop in unexpected visitors especially when people come in either to your queue to your life to your house you can't just ignore them and continue your work by the way both of you coming yesterday was urgent and important also <laughs> they were here yesterday so drop in unexpected visitors sometimes uh, people were preparing to come here and all of a sudden one of their friends knocks at their door and they can't say hey we are going for a gita class so we are stuck there uh, urgent but it's not important at least meetings without agenda Yes, especially when there is no agenda, no plan. What what is the outcome? What is the uh, goal of this meeting? Those meetings, especially, they seem urgent but not important. Okay. Easily distracted by trivial things. So sometimes social media internal trigger also. It feels urgent, but it is not important. Okay. Oh, I'm not supposed to reveal the fourth one. Okay, I think I am going to reveal because uh, whatever kids told earlier in bucket three falls in the bucket four. Okay, Shreyan will read this. Mindless TV watching, casual internet surfing, social media, gossip. Gossip. I want to pause here for a moment. Gossip. Interestingly, falls under quadrant four, not even three. Anyone thinks gossiping is urgent also? <laughs> I hope we at least agree it is not important. <laughs> But uh, many of us do gossip as in speaking about others, politics, cricket matches, and so many other things that are not urgent. Nothing happens whether we talk about it or not, and it's not important also. 
we do nothing about it anyway so gossip falls under this okay so i just wanted to make an impression of that okay distracted by escape activity escape activities this this is a very interesting uh, term escape activities can any adults guess what what uh, adults escape activities what do escape activities mean adults only please okay hobbies that take up too much time hobbies that take up too much time yeah important tasks are procrastinated okay. <laughs> okay something that we like doing hobbies you said okay yeah. so we tend to spend our time there instead of spending on important actually that's that's a valid so we will give him a round of applause the very dance is close to our okay sharat Uh, so everyone's busy, but you know. But sometimes when like the work gets to you, you wanna avoid it so that you can do something fun for a little bit, and that fun activity can be a hobby. Uh, Avoiding something important for something fun. Let's be an escaping from responsibility, important thing to. So we'll give him also a nice round. <laughs> And then finally, useless phone calls. Sometimes we are too much on the phone. Unnecessary phone calls. <clears throat> What did you eat for breakfast? Oh, that salt was little too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gossiping on the phone. Okay. Now, please tell me out of all these four quadrants. Which one should we focus on? Urgent, no. urgent, and important. Okay, we will we'll take. I have two things. Can I come both? Important. Okay, fine. Health and spiritual. So we should focus on health and spiritual. You're saying we should focus on quadrant two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Anyone else? Which quadrant? Not urgent and important. This is urgent and important. Can I do not? You can take the wire, keep it on the lower shelf, and plug the wire to. Okay. Meanwhile, while the mic is getting ready. Okay. Which quadrant? Well, I would go for quadrant one, but it isn't that common to do like. What happened in quadrant one? Isn't like as common to quadrant two. As common. 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 Okay, so here's a short answer is he. We should focus on quadrant one. But we should focus on quadrant two. So basically, he's saying quadrant. We should focus on quadrant one, but usually those situations don't come, so we should focus on quadrant two. But when those situations come, we have to focus on quadrant two. Okay, that's a good answer. So when. Uh, quadrant two. Focus on quadrant two. His answer is nice. So whenever there is work on quadrant one, focus on there. But if not quadrant two, okay. I want to hear from Mata Ji. Something contradictory. Something different to what these kids are saying. Quadrant two. Quadrant two. Quadrant two. We should focus on quadrant two so that. Uh, You know we have less stuff in quadrant one. I mean things won't become urgent. Like we focus on. Very beautiful, right? We should focus on quadrant two so that we will have less things that are breaking down, relationships breaking down, health breaking down, last minute. If you know the you are supposed to deliver some work two weeks from now, no need to keep it till the last day. If you know spouses and children are also important, no point in <laughs> waiting till they cry out or call for divorce. We can do beforehand in quarter. Very beautiful point. Okay, anyone else has any comment on which quadrant should we focus on? Two. Okay, anything else apart from quadrant two and why? I was gonna say that you can. Focus on quadrant one and two. 
Okay, so his answer is both focus on quadrant one and two. Uh, I know the answer, but basically, I say it's quadrant one because uh, in quadrant one, like if you take deadline driven projects, if I and how to finish them by tomorrow, if I just sit on my couch and I start planning of like I start planning and a spiritual outing, then um, um, like I'm probably gonna lose my job or something. So I should prep. <laughs> I hope he's not talking about me. <laughs> Mike, Mike. Uh, to extend what uh, Chavi Mataji said, so focus on two so that very little are nothing comes into the first bucket and also three is something we cannot avoid so two and three so that we don't get to one and four minimize it i mean it's not practical to completely avoid it but uh, minimize it as much as possible so okay very nice thank you okay here you go so quadrant one is the quadrant of action. Not much planning, not much thinking. It already broke. Now we need to figure out how to fix it and fix it. So we have to do something now. If we always reside in quadrant one, we will be stressful. If you, are, if you have stress in life, you should understand this. You are mostly residing in quadrant one. If you have stress in life, by default you should know you are living in quadrant one. So you wait until things break and then start fixing. That's what, if you are used to that, you will be stressful. Quadrant two is the quadrant of quality. That's where all the quality comes from. All quality relationship, quality work, creativity, all of that. But we have to make a decision to do it. It's not automatic. It's not obvious. It's not immediate. Somebody is not pushing us from behind. No back pain. No wife screaming at us. Or husband screaming at us. No children crying out. So this is something we have to deliberately choose. And this is the quadrant of fulfillment. If you want to feel satisfaction, if you want to feel fulfillment, this is where you should spend most of your time. This is where you should focus on. I'll again go back to the previous slide in case if you're wondering what is in quadrant two. <laughs> quadrant two has planning, organizing, self-development, prevention, relation building, nourishing recreation. Actually, even this requires very intelligent planning. Only because we don't do good, well planned. Recreation is why we succumb to social media which is easily available on our fingertips. <clears throat> which is social media, I think everyone who spends time on social media after spending an hour or two, hour three, <laughs> at the end everybody has the same conclusion. Nobody says, yay! I am the most joyful person. Oh, I feel so satisfied. Anybody thinks like that? Count. This is quite quant contrary to what we expect, right? I mean, we are spending all this time to feel satisfied. But at the end of spending so much time, you feel actually dissatisfied. And yet, what is crazy is yet, we go back and do the same thing tomorrow. Do you know why? Because we don't spend time in quadrant two, nourishing meaningful recreation. We're going to talk about that in solutions a lot more, how we can do that. Okay, quadrant three is called the quadrant of deception. It looks as if we are busy, we are doing something, but uh, not productive, no satisfaction, no fulfillment. Busy, busy, busy. But life is gazibiji. 
Only Telugu people will understand. I don't know whether. What? What? Please ignore. Oh no, no. So this is a quadrant where you are very busy, but you are working for somebody else's plan. You don't have your own plan. So we are helping other people realize their plans. If we don't have our own plan. If we live in quadrant three, it's a quadrant of deception. We are busy but not productive. And finally, quadrant four is quadrant of distraction and waste. We get short-term fun but long-term pain. We are supposed to delegate whatever we do in quadrant three as much as possible. we should be able to communicate clearly to the guest to the person who is calling us to whatever we saw earlier in a way that uh, they understand we have more important things to do and we delegate as much as possible and quadrant 4 we should delete as much as possible especially if you do and focus on things in quadrant 2 we you will not feel the need for social media or netflix or chit chatting gossiping all those things the need itself will go away one of the reason we put serving in quadrant 2 is uh, when you are serving so busy serving you will have no time to think about sense gratification you will not have much time to think about social media there is i mentioned this before but i'll for the context i will mention this i was mentioning this to shrinivas garu the other day one person went to a supermarket and he was frenetically searching for a product called happiness he went from a aisle 1 to aisle 1 aisle 100 and he couldn't find so eventually at the end he came to the store friend and he asked the person checking out there hey where can i find this product called happiness oh that you go to this aisle this section you will find a product called service when you bring that product so he went and got the product and he was checking out the store owner gave him buy one get one free type of offer as he as he was buying service he got the product called happiness so this is liberating if we realize this point of course it's very difficult to realize and understand and apply moment to moment but that's what these sessions are there to help us remind that the ultimate happiness lies in serving serving our family serving society the bigger the service the bigger the happiness serving god serving everyone that's the biggest that's where we get our happiness so if we can do quadrant two activities again we don't need actually in the beginning as shrinivas tadagar was mentioning we focus on minimizing because we are not we are not perfect we still need many of us we may delete facebook at the end of the session <coughs> but as you are struggling and wriggling to sleep at night your hands will go to your smartphone and you will install facebook <laughs> or uh, i'm not up to date uh snapchat tiktok instagram youtube roblox roblox okay, that's enough right? that's enough for many of us <laughs> fortnite is <laughs> yeah games are all so in the short term of course minimize we are also practical but eventually we'll be able to delete this from our life all together and I, i can say i used to play a lot of games on my smartphone many years ago 
10 years ago to be precise but then slowly we were able to find alternative things that are more productive more sattvic in nature and delete them all together in our from our life and this is the quadrant of dissatisfaction as i was mentioning the more time you spend there the more dissatisfied you will be so the more time you spend here more stressed out you will be more fulfilled more busy you will be and more dissatisfied you will be okay so as i mentioned the conclusion of this is effective time management lies in spending considerable time in quadrant 2 activities if there is one takeaway from the session this is it you can arrange your life in such a way you can plan you can begin you can probably write it on a piece of paper nobody else will understand in a, in your office at your home focus on quadrant 2 and very soon it's actually it's um uh, easier than you think if it is done properly it is much easier than you think to get to to switch our life to quadrant 2 all together chavi ji was mentioning this point earlier if we spend quadrant 2 quadrant 3 and 4 will be minimized and deleted from our lives and quadrant 1 will also reduce fewer crises to fight okay so far we watched rrr <laughs> we spoke about the four quadrants of time management before we continue we will take a quick break we will all stand up we will do gauranga nityananda dance and come back for those of you who may not know please go with the flow you will realize <laughs> is also a quadrant 2 activity if we don't get up and exercise like this we will all feel sleepy and can you switch off the second mic please okay you can raise your hands up like this and try to touch the ceiling your back should get a very good stretch you should be standing on your <laughs> you should be standing on your toes we are going to do this stretch three times one two and now we will do i am going to say and you repeat gauranga gauranga nityananda nityananda louder gauranga some of this in brief earlier all of us have four needs they are called pq eq iq and sq iq iq the things i have i have lost my q but before that 
Here is a quote. Can someone read? You are the stone, you are the chisel, and you are the sculpture. Man is the maker of himself. Only Aksharadam.com. The bad news is time flies. The good news is you're the pilot. Michael Atchuler. All Atchuler. So even though many a times we hear things like this, especially coming to a spiritual session is always very painful because uh, we have to uh, we have to face the fear we have to face the uncomfortable situation of knowing that we spend many of most of our time in quadrant 3 4 type of activities or things that are spiritually not recommended by bhagavad gita almost every session we see uh, we hear things that are somewhat painful to digest i remember when my dad first started reading Srila Prabhupada books. I think he read a book, um, Scientific uh, Reasoning for Krishna Consciousness, something like that, Telugu translation of that. He said, this is a nice book, but there is a lot of criticism, he said. I thought, oh, okay. I, usually Prabhupada is very compassionate, but of course, uh, Guru means they have to tell the truth just because it hurts you, doctor doesn't stop giving you injection. If you need it, you, you still need it. They'll do their best to give it with least pain. So, so that's why when we attend these sessions, it may feel a little uncomfortable, but we can all take hope. We are taking, we are in the right process. We are in the right association. Uh, very soon, actually this will be amazing. It, it will be an amazing realization. When you realize that these challenges that you face currently are much easier than that you think to cross. They feel like overwhelming. Oh God, how can I give up Facebook of all the things in the world? Or you can fill in the blank with whatever addiction you have which is not beneficial. You know it, but you can't give up. Very easy than you think when we follow the right process. So, don't worry, you're the pilot still. This is another quote. Can someone read this please? Can I do it? Can I do it? Become more. We think to achieve more, we need to do more. But in reality, to achieve more, we need to become more. When you become more, you achieve more by doing less. Thank you. So, yes. This is a very, again, this is another shift in thought process. To achieve more, many people think we need to do more. Right? Instead of working four hours, if I spend eight hours, I will be able to do this. <coughs> but the point that we are trying to make here is actually if you want to become a better person, by doing more of the same thing that you are doing, you cannot become. So if you want to achieve more, you need to become more, which means you need to upgrade yourself, which is what we are talking about, the quadrant two activity, self-development, spirituality, connecting with the source, taking care of your responsibilities nicely. So all of this make you a better person. You become more, not do more, but become more. When you become more, with less words, less speech, you will be able to convince your spouse, your children, your manager. You will be able to do more by doing less. When you become more. It's all uh, English <laughs> jargon it sounds like. Anyway. Okay, here are the four cues, coefficients. Kobi, can you read this? Physical quotient. Physical quotient. Exercise keeps your body fresh, fit, and healthy. Exercise removes toxins by stretching pockets of t of tension are released. 
muscles are, get relaxed that were previously tight due to stress. Stress. Exercise gives positive signals to our mind and increases feeling, feeling of well-being. Healthy eating, fasting, and sleeping. So if you have, if you already don't have a physical exercise routine in your life, I strongly request you. Exercise is one of those uh, things you can do in Sattvagun. Oh, it has much bigger impact than you can imagine. It is... This is uh, one of the beginning things that you can do. Just by doing regular exercise, you will feel not doing anything else. You will actually feel uh, more enlivened, more positive, just happy for no reason. Less hungry. Less hungry. You will be able to sleep. You will get deeper sleep. Removes toxins in the body. Muscles, sore, soreness and all of that will also go away. And by the way, uh, physical also means fasting. I think we were talking recently to Murtiji about fasting. Srinivas Garu was mentioning every Ekadashi, he does fasting till evening. This is also very good. We will have one session dedicated for Ekadashi. What is Ekadashi? Vaishnavas, all Vaishnavas and even in India, if you have the cultural, traditional, family tradition, all of us would fast on Ekadashi. And there are different levels of fasting and all that. We will talk about the scientific benefits of fasting and what we should do on Ekadashi and all that in one session. Uh, but for now, you can know by fasting actually you become fit. Uh, and sleeping also falls under this category. Sufficient. Not too much. Too much sleep, we become lazy. Interesting. Too much sleep, we become lazy. If you feel lazy, we should know maybe we are overdoing it. And too little, we become crazy. Okay, second one is emotional coefficient. I'll just read it because it's difficult. This is at, again two different levels. This is not the four quadrants. Uh, so, first level is to be aware, and the second level is to manage. So, first level is you are aware of your own needs. What are your thoughts? Sometimes, as I was mentioning, we will again have another session. Many of us forgot about uh, whether mind is a friend or an enemy and all that thing. We'll, we'll speak about that in our pipeline. <laughs> but once we become aware, we need to do certain things to manage. And same thing goes at not just at our level, but as a family, as a society also. Uh, everyone has an emotional need, emotional coefficient that also need to be taken care. Again, first thing is to become aware and second thing is to take care of it. Third is intelligence coefficient. Uh, earlier, someone was mentioning about uh, reading some books, not textbooks or anything like that. Something... Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention was there on the side. By the way, these four things interestingly fall under quadrant two, by the way. I forgot to mention. <clears throat> Physical coefficient, emotional, intellectual and spiritual. If you remember, this is what constituted quadrant two. These are the four needs of humans actually. So all we need is in quadrant two only. But that's where we spend the least amount of time. Can you imagine? All our needs are there, but that's where we spend least amount of our time. We are always either firefighting, stressed out, then we want to forget our miseries, then we, we jump to quadrant four. We do so much social media, YouTube, Netflix, <laughs> until manager, spouse, child starts crying, then we again jump to quadrant <laughs> Some relative or somebody calls us, jumps to quadrant three. So, okay, I forgot to highlight that. Okay, intelligent coefficient. This is also an important aspect of our life that we should fulfill. Otherwise, you'll feel some hole in your life. Okay, Akshay wanted to read, and you can read. Uh, I know the next. One. 
absorb in activities that are enlivening, enlightening, and inspiring. Education is to learn a living. Wisdom is to learn how to live. This is a very important point, especially for kids. Please make a note of this. Whatever education you get at school is to earn a living. What does that mean? Kids, help me. Okay, so many kids. Earn a living means to get money. Okay? And what does wisdom is to learn how to live. What does how to live means? Essential parts of life. Very nice definition. It's very good. It's English. I like it. Okay. Please go on. The first duty of a university is to teach wisdom, not trade. Character, not technicalities. Not technicalities. Winston Churchill. Again, unfortunately, the modern day education, they only teach us how to earn a living. How to do our C++ programming or whatever profession you are in. Doesn't teach character. What school speaks about character? Forget about schools. Even at home, it's a big challenge. Because we are always jumping between quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. We are either stressed out or dissatisfied in our life. We hardly have any time to systematically teach character and inculcate character into children. So that's why we, we will see as time progresses, we will have broken and broken society. Even though we have internet that connects the entire world, we will live in a society that's most disconnected. So, go on. Intellectual edu education influences the head and value-based education influences the heart. So we need value-based education as well, not just intellectual education. And then? Most successful people in the world, healthy, wealthy and wise, choose education over entertainment. I'm sure all of you know this, but... Okay, spiritual kofshe. Very simple. We have already... We spoke about this so many times, I'm not going to spend any time on this. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D. By the way, E stands for engaging in service. A, C, D. E stands for diet and A stands for association. B is books. B is books. So A is association. B is books like Bhagavad Gita and Shrikant Bhagavatam. C is chanting. Um, D is diet and it's something else. DT worship. DT worship, yeah. And um, he is engaging in service. We will give both of them. I hope any of you here going by a preschool, A, B, C, D, you should remember immediately this. Association books, chanting and I, engaging in, sir, in Krishna service. Like that. Okay, here is a short video about the seven habits of highly effective people. So if actually management ki padhai karni hai to Bhagavad Gita padhni chahiye. Bhagavad Gita mein Dr. Stephen Covey publicly bol ke gaya unki 2 million kitab hai India mein book hi 7 habits of highly effective people. Ye ek motivational kitab hai. Lekin wo sab jagah bol ke gaya ISB Hyderabad mein aaye the bole ki maine saaton ke saaton habits Bhagavad Gita se li hai par main safal isliye hu kyunki Hindustan ke log Gita nahi padhte meri kitab padhte hain. Okay, go ahead. Uh, okay. Dr. Stephen Covey remarked that he borrowed all the seven habits that he borrowed all the seven habits in his self-help book. The seven ha habits of highly effective people from Bhagavad Gita. Two million copies were sold in India. Unfortunately, Indians don't read their own Bhagavad Gita. Thank you. Okay, who wants to read this? We will, uh, what's your name? I forgot. Sahasra. Sahasra, one of my favorite names. 
Prayers connect to the source. Withdraw from everything for some time daily to meet yourself, your soul, your vision, and feel loved. Just connect and attain a state of congruence where the heart, head, hands, and is in balance. Once we are rested in the inner home, come back to the world outside of you and struggle. First feel loved by God, and then go on struggle to serve in, in this world. Struggle is the name of the game in this mortal sphere, but we need to surrender. A space of shelter where a force, a, a force beyond you embraces you. You belong to Krishna. Thank you. So as part of spiritual coefficient, as you can see, when we feel nourished inside, the need for external validation and social media, <coughs> your spouse saying very nice curry, your child saying thank you dad, all of those don't matter as much. Because you feel something more deeper, something more long lasting. So. Okay, we're going to blast two myths and then we will conclude our session today. We've already touched upon this. The first one is called busy versus productive. Here is a nice joke though. Who is going to read a good joke? Okay, Raga will read. I'm not a procrastinator. I'm just extremely productive at unimportant things. <laughs> this is an honest assessment of a busy but <laughs> unproductive person. Here is another funny definition of tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, we should say it with Mr. No thanks. We are really busy, really busy right now. No time. <laughs> Come on guys, we got to go move faster. If Akshay read this, he would have said that. If Akshay reads the last dialogue, what would he say? Akshay. Come on, yeah. Akshay. Akshay. Huh. What? Tell the last dialogue. We've got to move. Come on guys, we gotta move like that. Come on guys, we gotta move. <laughs> okay, here is another one. Shriyan, because there is too much echo on that side. I'm very, bus I'm very busy doing things I don't need to do in order to avoid doing anything I'm actually supposed to be doing though. Sorry. <laughs> this Many parents are guilty of actually. Oh, yeah. uh, we were, we spend more time at office. I was actually telling Shamu Kumar earlier. At, when you do more work at office, you get recognition. Everybody recognizes, oh yeah, this person, very good, very knowledgeable. You get reward, more uh, short term, long term bonuses, promotions. He knows. He already figured it out. But, 
deliberately or without knowing we do this while ignoring the mess that is happening at home the mess that's happening inside our body these are more difficult to address difficult to face we don't know how to fix we got training on how to do c++ programming no training was given on how to do good parenting no training on how to do good relationship management whatever we learned is common knowledge seeing okay my mom and dad used to fight like this and this is how they manage okay so that's how that's that's how we learned so by the way we will have many more we have a seminar about art of parenting soon we will also have art of working very important to figure out <clears throat> what does bhagavad gita say renunciation responsibility how much is too much so we will get into the details of each of them i'm sure at the beginning of this session you would wonder are what will they have to speak about art of time management and having spent one hour i am sure i am hope at least i hope uh, you heard something that's beneficial here is another interesting quote stay busy is laziness because you stay busy to avoid something you don't want to. i have a better version staying busy is a lazy staying busy is a lazy and the kind you stay busy to avoid something you do not want to wear <laughs> Okay, there is last couple. We are, uh, I think, maybe three more, four more slides, and then we'll conclude. If we do too much planning, we are called daydreamers. I am guilty of this sometimes. If we do too much work without planning, we are called workaholics. The third category is we don't do much planning or much work. but very friendly always on phone gossiping source of uh, all news in the world people friendly but poor at finishing work ideally we should have we should be good at we should be at least good at something at, at all of these not great in just one of them but good at everything okay busy people versus versus productive people so you read busy people i okay i will read busy people you will read productive people busy people prioritize shallow tasks productive people prioritize most important tasks so give away attention to anything reserve attention for important things attempt to multitask hyper focus on a single task Bhagavad Gita also mentions this actually. Whoever has a single focused, single-minded focus on one thing, they actually achieve more. Multitasking is uh, the misnomer of the 21st century. We multitask on 10 less important things. Switching from this tab to this tab, busy, busy, busy. <laughs> That's why we are not productive. But we should be. razor focused on a single important task continuously do shallow tasks what's bad shallow tasks have lots of good projects have few exceptional projects <laughs> say yes by default say no by default so their response to people tasks or things that come to them in life their default answer is actually no No, because i am already busy doing something very important i cannot allow we will have time we will handle those also but that's the default okay the last slide of today okay anyone can anyone guess how much time we talk about time management right so which means we have time to manage now we'll take please shout out we will hear from back benchers how much time do we have how much time do you think we have you can say it in years hours whatever it is we have half an hour mic off
Only this minutes. We don't know next minute what will happen. Okay. His answer is we only have this minute. Okay, we are we are looking for more, not philosophical answer, quantitative answer. Thank you. Uh, we have all the time, but we have to we have to know how to manage it. Uh, all the time. <laughs> I am looking for a quantitative answer. We know we live for 100 years based on that you can guess. Okay, one more. 40 years we have. So that much we can manage and figure out. Okay, thank you. We will give. Okay, no, it's not sweet. Ravindra will. Please shout out some number between 0 and 100 years. 20 years, reasonable number. We only have 20 years to manage our time. Do we have more or less? More. More, okay. People are saying more. So, but we'll anyway give a round of applause to Ravindra. Yes. My niece has. Sit down, sit down. 95 years. 95 what, by the way? Years. Years only, okay. Okay, very optimistic. We'll give her. You want to know the answer? 73 years. 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 All right. So we live for average 78 years, of which apparently we spend one third or one third of our life sleeping. That's about 28 hours gone. You slept more, by the way, when you were a child. And 10 and of years working. Another 10 of years gone. Nine years apparently TV, social media, probably more now, but I don't know. Six years doing chores. Four years eating food. You better be stout at the end of your life. Three and a half years of education. This seems small actually, but we'll take it. Maybe... Uh, whoever did this analysis, probably they are spot on. We think we studied, <laughs> maybe we never did. Two and a half years of grooming, shopping, child care, one and a half years in commuting. We understand why people buy good cars now. We have about nine years left. Even though we disagreed with Ravindra, he is actually the closest. Yeah. Not 40. Certainly not 95. But one more thing, by the way, this is if we live for 78 years. For many of us sitting here, who are close to 30, 40, 50s, let's say 40 average, midpoint, easy calculation. Four and a half years is what we are left with. Can you imagine? You have only four and a half hours of your life that you can do anything meaningful. In quadrant 2, that is beneficial for you, beneficial for society, beneficial for your family. Only four and a half years. With that, we conclude our discussion for today. Thank you very much. By the way, this is, we will uh, have part 2 of the session soon. And we will have a part 3. Uh, we will we will talk about goal setting uh, so much more detail then. Okay, so we will hear a few reflections. Any takeaway points? We will please uh, we will bring you mic and you can share anything that you liked that you want to take away with you that you want to reflect back, or uh, you may also ask any question. But reflections are preferred. So that way, questions because we haven't discussed solutions. I don't want to give you a trailer now. All right. We'll take uh, divide sections. We'll take one from there, one from here, one from here, one from here and there. Five reflections. Very quickly, please. Because we have to do chanting and we'll also do Kirtan at the end today. Mike to the back section. Anything that you heard, anything that you liked, that you, I hope you remember at least one thing. Um, I really like the session and uh, especially 
um, like how we have to uh, you know spend most of the time on quadrant two. So like earlier, uh, um, I mean, I I wasted so much time. <laughs> now I realize. So I mean, so I know uh, know what like uh, where to focus. So uh, it was very important. Like this was like very good session for me. Uh, so I I really liked it. Very nice. Thank you very much. She had a reflection of her past, and uh, she is she is determined now to spend more time in quadrant two. We'll take one more from this section. Okay, Yashashvi has the mic. You may need to get up and come here. Give it to Venuji. Unplug and give it to me.
So we should be aware how effective we need to spend or to meet the goals in Q2. I was surprised to see it's 28 years we we spend in sleeping. Yeah, 28 years. That seems small actually. <laughs> because I sleep more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll take three more reflections. So uh, this time one question. <laughs> so in that four and a half years. So service is also part of that four and a half years. Yes. Okay. Because if you see the chart, we don't actually have spiritual practices, all of that have no extra time allocated. Because this is a graph for modern day man. Modern day man don't do any meditation anyway. So no, no scope. So the PQ, IQ, the all these comes under that last bucket. Um, physical exercises, everything will come in that four and a half years. Kind of, I would say. Okay. Maybe because modern day, some people do physical exercises, maybe that may be accounted. But other buckets, emotional, relation building, intellectual, maybe to some extent. Spiritual, certainly not. So, yeah, maybe. Again, this is. I think the only place to do is like remove the nine years of TV, video game, social networking, and then increase this nine to eight. Okay, that's a valid point. He's saying we can actually, by spending more time in quadrant two, we will be able to increase these four and a half years to more. Because we will no longer need social media to keep us happy. We don't need the video games. All the kids left on You should have made this point earlier. <laughs> Sweet, can you call all the kids? <laughs> Okay, we will take three more reflections, but this time I am uh, narrowing it down to teenagers. If you want to share, the floor is yours. I just wanted to share it. We consider teenagers. He okay. is very young, dynamic, so teenager. Right. Yeah. So one thing is to summarize the dimension, we have to become more so that it becomes the uh, in terms of better person and whatever the question to take it to everywhere. So that is the only solution. Yeah, if you want to become better. Yeah. So we have to become more like okay. Very nice, beautiful point. Thank you. <laughs> so let's pass on the mic to are you a teenager by the way? Don't look like one. Uh, I think a lot of us as teenagers, we feel we're really busy and we have a lot to do. But I think allocating our time in the right way, not as many video games, I think that can make us more productive and have more time to enjoy our lives as teenagers. Very nice. Thank you. By the way, this is, this is not really uh, spiritual per se. These discussions are foundation for the spiritual. These are all sattvic discussions. Because as I said, many of us uh, spend our time in quadrant 3 and 4 which are considered rajasic and tamasic in nature. So we need to first uplift ourselves to, from here we cannot jump to spiritual world, transcendental directly. From tamas to maybe rajas, rajas to sat, sattvugun to shuddha sattva. This is uh, where our goal is. So, yeah. Okay, any more? Okay, one more. Okay. Uh, so I have seen this quadrant which has applied at a professional level. So it was very refreshing to see at a personal level how, how it was applied. And one thing as a reflection, like from the time I've started joining this class, um, I think I spent a lot of time in uh, listening to a lot of spiritual th things while cooking or while doing all this mundane activity. I think after that, I see that um, 
the amount of meat and maybe my social media has come down to 30 minutes in a day. Thank you. We pay how to say this, by the way. Whatever it is, it's working. <laughs> Very nice. That's true. I mean, it's not rocket science for us to understand. We know the more time we spend on social media, more dissatisfied we are. We will actually, the more time we spend, I'm sure all of us have experienced spending some time in quadrant two sometimes. We feel nourished. We feel satisfied actually. So, all right. One more from teenagers. Satya, okay. Satya is very patiently hearing today. <laughs> so I think um, as like a teenager, I mostly spend my like uh, time around like uh, quadrant like three or like four and not as much as like quadrant two and um and especially if i have like projects that like um kind of like procrastinate until like the last minute to do it but like after like going to like the Gita classes i've like like started to improve and like not procrastinate as much I must, uh, to expose the problem and not talk about solution uh, but you can think you can think about <clears throat> only when we are hungry are we ready to accept food. Only when we recognize there is a problem that I need to work on are we uh, eager to hear the solution and implement in our life. So I am sure as you think about it, I am sure you will think about solutions already coming up in your mind. But very soon, we will not take four and a half years, very soon we will talk about solutions also. Okay, the 